Hey there, my beautiful art-loving people. Here I am today at the Lisbon Flea Market. And you see behind me, um, it's very large. It goes all the way down to the water there. And uh, mostly it's uh, everything you would typically find at a flea market. There's a lot of uh, antiques and old cameras and jewelry. And um, there's a lot of imports, uh, fabric, uh, shirts, vintage stuff, things like that. Um, but in the midst of all of this, um, I have found some very talented artists to interview, uh, including one very ambitious and talented five-year-old. So um, come with me, check it out, and uh, I'll show you what they're doing and, and what they have to say about their work. Okay, so today we're talking to Simone... A cassette, Akasatis, yeah. Yes. That that name. <laughs> that name, and you are from Rome, Italy. From Rome, Italy, and you live here in Portugal now. Yes, I've been here for a long time. Nice. And so I was, I was drawn in by your work. I love the color and the fantasy, and um, I'm I'm very curious as to. Uh, you know what what your images are about and where they come from well well I start to draw my robots because when I was child I had many many toys about robots and I tried to find a, um, a, a compromise between uh, technology robots and nature for example this is my mushroom robot it's your mushroom robot, mushroom robot. excellent and this is my robot inside where in the screen you have uh, plants right yes and then and then uh i mean i draw other things some self-portraits strange images you're much prettier than that <laughs> this is the head of the fish uh-huh you can see yes and then i do something queer something like uh, fluid this is a boy, but this is a boy, sexy boy, but it's me in fact. This is me, so I play with this, you know, I don't know what I am, if I'm man, if I'm woman, I don't know. So this is something that I... Now, like. the technique, so is so you, did you screen print the, uh, the uh, boy the, and then... The, 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 I find images, I find images of something that I like or from review books. And then I transform, I paint my my art, or like these old book pages. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a cat person and a book person. Yes, old book pages and then um, biologia, books from biologia, uh, zoologia, mechanica. Uh, this is... A scratch. This is scratch. Yes. Scratch. This is another photo. Do you make your own? Um, do you make your own scratch board? Uh, no, I I find I buy I buy black or white and I put blue. When this white, I put acrylic. This is another Lisbon, Metro Lisbon. This man was sitting here with the empty uh, seat, and then I put my robots. In and, the seat, and then it. this is my version of um, you know, something about Lisbon, but not Sardi and this stuff, something not so clear, right? Yes, oh, and uh, go ahead if you want to pay for something, go ahead. If I'll English, yes, is it okay? Would you like to? Can I talk to you for a minute? On uh, okay. okay, so where are you girls from? Uh, from here, from here, okay. So I'm just curious, like, what what are you getting there? What are you buying? Can I see? Is that a card? Some... I was thinking of buying. Oh, these. so okay. So yeah, five minutes as well. So what drew you? What drew you to look at at uh, Simone's work? I don't know. I just really like the vibe and the colors, and I would really like it in my room. So. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Great. Excellent. So, and I see you have uh, so many different opportunities to buy your work with the, are these just, um, are they stickers or what are they? Yeah. Those are stickers. Posters. And also I make ties. I paint and I cook in an oven that I have very little oven, very nice. Yes. And I do my things. <laughs> this is the last one. And I also I make uh, on tights um, robots, jungle robots on tights. And you can find one of my creation in Alfama on the wall. Oh, really? Where? Yeah. Uh, 
Portas do Sol. Portas do Sol. Ah, naquela onde está aquele arco. Onde está aquele arco. Com outros que tem várias coisas uh, tá a escadinha de Araújo exatamente mas lá embaixo na sim. segunda casa de banho sim e na segunda there is a panel little panel on the wall there okay. are angels and robots in the sky wonderful I, mean, I know what is it I will show you later we'll have to go yes. find it okay yes. okay yes. great yes. Well, thank you so much for your time thank and explaining you so your work. Much. It's really awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yes, thank you. Okay, so hi, I'm Karen, and um, I have my YouTube channel. I'm an artist from the U.S. and um, I'm a painter and a potter. And uh, but right now I'm just traveling around Europe and wherever. And so I want to highlight and um, promote other artists that I meet. Ooh. And so, what is your name? Uh, I'm Sylvia. Sylvia. And your watercolors, they're watercolor, right? Yes, yes. They are, they're just beautiful. And you. you have little poems? Oh, okay, little quotes? Yes, exactly. I feel like I'm getting a little fuzzy there. There we go. Um, yeah, so um, with your uh, style here, so I, I think I did like one or two watercolors in high school and <laughs> it's a very difficult medium right well yes however I, n I just uh, learned by doing it and uh, yeah after a few years apparently it became easy <laughs> but it would be hard for me to explain to anyone how to do that right so no yeah. formal training you just no. started messing around yes exactly very good yeah <laughs> it's, it's kind of a brave thing to do because a lot of people you know you say I'm an artist and they say, oh, I can't draw a straight line. Or... Yeah, maybe what is easy for me that I don't, I didn't, never thought about myself as an artist. <laughs> you know, sorry, it gets easier. I think maybe for some people for after art, art schools, uh -huh. there's more pressure of making something, you no? Know? And for me, it was just a play and just creating little souvenirs from the cities I visit as well. So is this your full-time gig? Are you? Are you? Uh, is this what you're doing for your living now? Uh, yes. Uh, however, I have another job as well. Uh -huh. I'm a psychotherapist. A psychotherapist. Yeah. Oh well, can I sit down? Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is uh, this is great. You know what? I can kind of see in these, um, you know, these sort of ethereal ones, like the, you know, the yeah. thinking, the mind. Kind of like you can kind of see that influence, I think, in these. Yeah, these I think you can see it especially in the quotes, uh, because just organically, I think it, this is the place where it combines uh, for me. Um, psychotherapy is a talk therapy, right? And yeah. And poetry, in a way, one could think it's also kind of therapy. <laughs> That's true. Because it brings you new ideas and then, yeah. For well, sure. Hopefully, giving some from? new insights. I'm from Poland. Uh, yeah. That's funny. I was, just, <laughs> I was just watching a video about Poland this morning. Um, so what what comes first, the quote or the art? Do you make the art and find Actually, the quote? Actually, well, the, the quotes came before because since I was a teenager, I would write down the quotes I liked. You know? So I would always have somewhere a lot of quotes I liked. And then only after... Uh, so it was simultaneous because uh, then I was painting and then only after I think two years I thought like why not to combine two and then when it started uh, also selling more and uh, yeah then I also thought that's much more of my thing because it combines uh, poetry and philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, right. We have a lot right. of lamps in here. Yeah, yeah. This is from the period when I moved here and I was reading. Maybe now I don't read too much, but the postcards are, yeah, it's there a bit of a history of, of me here, because in different periods I created different postcards, so there are some design that I made like eight years ago, I mentioned. Oh, really? <laughs> and there are others that are just like, three months old, uh, so. Well, they're very beautiful and interesting. Thank you for talking you. to me. It's really great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank yeah. you. Hey everybody out there, uh, it's Karen back here again. Today I'm at the uh, Lisbon um, flea market, and but it's also called, what is it called? Feira da Ladra. Fe Feira? 
Feira da Ladra. Da Ladra. And it's the Market of Thieves or something? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, okay. So, but we have a person here, a little guy who is not a thief. He is a, a little budding artist. His name is Sereno. And uh, his mom and dad are here and they're saying it's okay for me to uh, talk to him and show you his artwork. And he sits out here and he gives his drawings away. Uh, last week, Sereno came with us here because we live just up the road. Uh -huh. And then he saw these artists that they were showing their, their art. Right? And he said, I want to do that. Awesome. So we said, okay, so you have to go home. We, you need to make some drawings. And so we went out and we bought some like better paper. Uh -huh. So And then he spent the week drawing. And then today we, we prepared everything and he came. He ju we just got here. And then we asked him, are you going to sell them? And he mm -hmm. said, no, I'm going to give them away. So that's what he's doing now. How beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because he loves to draw, so it was cute. And, and how old is he? Five. I thought he was about five. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This guy. Look at his Look at his beautiful artwork, first of all. Let's look at Sereno's art. Like everything comes straight out of imagination, of course, because when you're five and... But he also likes Ghostbusters, so this is the Stay Puft Marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And this is Bugs Bunny. Yes. He's in the... Pretty good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I see, you know, I'm a, a former art teacher, so, um, you know, the way he's doing his uh, figures here is is just right on for his age. Mm -hmm. You know, with the, uh, the, this is exactly the type of schema that a five-year-old does. And I love his... I love his uh, signature. Yeah. Um, Artista de Olinda? What is yeah. that? Berlin? Olinda is the city we live in, Brazil. Oh, yeah. nice. So are you just visiting? We're spending eight months. Because he's doing a semester. Oh, wonderful. University of Lisbon. Wonderful. Oh, look at the flowers. And it looks like we have an animal here. I, I, I did not. Ask. Right. <laughs> Serena? Sereno, fall away for Karen. Oh. There we go. There you are. Como está? Espanol? Espanol? Or Portuguese? Como é que você está? Portuguese. Portuguese, okay. Los, and I don't have any Portuguese. I can help, I can help. But okay. he speaks Spanish, so. Ah, okay. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, ask Serena what he's working on here. Serena, o que você está desenhando agora? Ah, he's doing an alphabet. Like, he's very, like, he, he, he watches a few a few videos on YouTube. Uh -huh. So he watched a movie, uh, a little independent <laughs> animation series that has a little, um, has a, a rabbit. Uh -huh. Is it a rabbit? I don't know. So he loves them and he draws them. And then he also likes like this alphabet lore. And it has like letters with teeth and eyes. So he says he's doing like alphabet. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Did you use your hand for that? Did yes. you use your hand? So, 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 I'm like, yeah, well. He says it's a horror mute movie. <laughs> <laughs> Serena, are you going to be an artist for your life? Are you going, this is what you're going to do when you grow up? Oh, he understands that. I don't know. Good. Yeah, very Serena, good. Karen quer saber se quando você crescer, você quer ser um artista. I don't care. He wants to. Will you always give your art away? He, want, he said he, when he grows up, he wants to be an artist and a magician. Well, you're kind, that's kind of both the same. Because when you're an artist, you create something out of nothing, which yeah. is sort of a magic, right? A gente mostra no final da entrevista, tá bom? Não, Ela mostra a gente depois. Mas olha, quando você crescer... Não, não quero mostrar. Ah, então tá. Eu quero que a pé. A gente mostra pra ela e ela bota no vídeo, tá bom? Ó, oh, ela perguntou se quando você crescer você também vai dar a sua arte. Ou você vai querer vender com dinheiro? Ah! Não sei. Não sei se ele vai dar ou se ele vai vender. Ok, tudo bem. Bom demais. Okay, well, sweetheart, thank you very much for talking to me. And your artwork is very beautiful. Papai, você não oh, vai ela lá. tá dizendo muito obrigada por conversar com ela, que sua arte é muito bonita. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye bye. You say bye bye. Bye tchau. Bye bye. <laughs> Great. What you're producing now? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna um, you're gonna sign my bunny for me, right? I'm taking. Serrano is giving me this beautiful drawing of this bunny, which is. Uh, one of, from one of his favorite YouTube shows? Yeah. Television. No, yeah. that's Bugs Bunny, actually. Oh, that's Bugs Bunny. Yeah, that's okay. Bugs Bunny. Yes.
There you go. Been oh, right. watching a lot of space. Right, it's sort of decapitated <laughs> Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Serrano's gonna draw it for you. Or sign it for me. You sign it for me, sweetheart. So 20 years from now, I will see Serrano's work. Yes, in New York City and Milan and Paris and all the big galleries. It's a very careful signature here. Oh my god, I think he learned his name today. Yeah? Because he used to put like S. Which is his first letter, then my first letter, B, uh -huh. and his father's first letter, uh -huh. first letter R. Mm -hmm. So he was always signing like for the family. Uh, you are Mo. He learned his name today. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so that much. Thank you, darling. Hey, don't freeze your brow. Da pra ela, sim. Gracias. <laughs>they, oh, so it looks like it's all doilies sewn together. Very cool. So this is obviously the fashion part of the school. Some very talented voice. <laughs> so the school was created in 1991. The focus of the school is to give uh, the students the ability and the skills to, to start their own business in the art field, uh, in the film area, fashion, uh, animation, design. So we are investing in all these creative areas. And uh, what, uh, what makes us different than the other schools yeah. is that we are giving them the, the, the skills just working in projects, uh, focus on uh, uh, learn by doing. Learn by doing, right. Yeah. So when you say that you're giving giving them business skills, are you, so you're not just teaching them how to make the art, you're teaching them how to go get a job with somebody or how to be an entrepreneur yes, with their own work? Yes, as well. Or... Yeah, the marketing part, the promotional part, all their teachers are uh, people from the industry, professionals from the industry, which have the ability to teach as well. So they are always receiving the most updated uh, information uh, about the, the, the different areas we have. Nice. So, like, do some some students get hired? Uh, like, if the, t the teachers are professionals, so like, it, do they? Um... When they finish the courses, some of the the, the teachers uh, bring them to their own uh, ateliers, enterprise. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of students have the, the, this possibility. The school also has a, a integrate a professional uh, department, uh, which is responsible to find out some internships, some uh, job offers. And we are sharing with the students, so this is why this school is different because we are really investing in in giving them an opportunity in this complicated area that we know that is uh, it's very complicated. So uh, all the staff is uh, focusing on giving them all the opportunities they can have in these fields. And how long how long is the program? Like how long do they stay? You, you said they're right they're after call or I mean after high school. Yeah, so we 18, have different 19, kind right? of uh, of uh, courses. So we have one one year courses. We have uh, uh, three years courses. So they can do a bachelor degree with us. Um, we have uh, short courses like three months. It will depend on what they want to do and uh, also uh, in the different areas. What can they do in three months? Like what should they? For example, they can have like an overview, of, uh, for example, for, to be a TV host, for example, oh, or really? ra radio oh. host. Okay. Exactly. They can I met work. a young man who wants to be on television. Yeah. Yeah. They can work the communication skills, the, the, the how do you say it, the, how to be in front of a camera, for yes, example. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, the most uh, the most common is uh, they are coming and they are doing the bachelor degree with us, the three years. Yeah. Okay, that's great. That's yeah. wonderful. 
Um, and uh, are you do your, are your students mostly local, or do they come from other countries or anything? Or the majority it... of the students are from uh, the Lisbon area, mm -hmm. but we are receiving uh, people from uh, the rest of uh, of the country. And uh, lately, these late years, we are receiving people from France, uh, Spain. Uh, we had uh, students from uh, uh, Denmark. So yeah, we are receiving a few, not that much, but right, uh, we yeah. are getting more international now. That's wonderful. And so do you find like, do you follow up with your students and, you know, find out where they end up working yes. through the years? Like, do they, do they usually stay in Portugal or they go other places? You have uh, all the scenarios you can imagine. So we have people that is staying here, we have people that is going abroad. So yeah, it, it, it will depend. I think as they have the possibility to do an internship outside Portugal, mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. they love it and the, the enterprise that received them love them as well and they will stay longer. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, we after one year, when they finish the course, after one year, one year, we contact them just to know what is happening with you. Mm -hmm. Are you working? Are you not? Are you in Portugal? Are you outside? Mm -hmm. So we want to know about them. Mm -hmm. Great. So. Um, I was just over in the little park over there, mm -hmm. and I met a little five-year-old artist. Oh. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> no, I didn't. Sorry. He's over there with his parents, and he's uh, he's sitting there doing his little drawings, and he and he gives them away because he wants to be an artist. Mm -hmm. So he said, "You should maybe go meet him, and, and he'll be a future student for you." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you.